Plumbing 101, how to use a closet auger the right way. This is DIY plumbing. Unclogging a toilet with a closet auger may be the best way to do it, and this is something everyone should have. I'm gonna ask you today if you've got any great pictures or videos of plumbing, electrical, HVAC roofing, anything like that, Maybe it's something a handyman's done, it's the worst plumbing you've ever seen, maybe the best. Do me a favor, jump over to my subreddit, Roger Wakefield Posts, put your picture, put your video, put your comment, and join over there. So a closet auger. This is a tool that a lot of people don't have at home. I'm gonna show you why this is something everyone should have, especially if you have kids. And now, this one's a little used. You can actually see fecal remnants on it. But here's the deal. Okay, it should have got rinsed off a little better. That looks like paper. I've actually pulled readers and dentures out of a toilet. Now, I don't know if they used them or not. Actually, the glasses, I know they didn't. I saw her throw them away, but she may have dug them back out when I left and thought, you know, I can just rinse that off. The dentures, eh, that's up to them. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to use this, but I'm also gonna show you how to use it to unclog something, even if it's a little further down. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, you wanna undo the spring. And you wanna pull the handle up. Now you do this because you don't want that spring rubbing on the inside of the toilet. You can possibly mess things up. First of all, you wanna adjust your closet auger the right way. Now you've got the rubber bottom here. You wanna make sure to guide it in gently because you want that rubber setting on the inside of your toilet. This is something that they designed that way. That way you don't leave marks on the inside of it. Now it can still happen. If it does, take a very fine grit sandpaper, get it wet, sand that off and you can get those marks right off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and push it in and start turning. Normally you would be standing up above it so it's a little easier. But I wanted to show you this on our trainer. That way you can see what happens down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and start turning it and pushing it in. Now, if I had a clog, I would be either going through it, into it, somewhere right about there. So as you can see, the cable comes all the way down in here. So that means it's gone all the way through the P-trap, down, down through the drain. Now, if this was somebody's house, all this would be either underground, under the floor, or down in the basement. Here in Texas, everything's under slabs, so this is actually buried underground. But what I wanna show you is something a little different here. As you see, this is a four by three reducing 90. These are allowed on water closets. What if the clog is over here or down here? Now, we're not there yet. Now, this is a standard closet auger, but it has an extension, and that's one thing that really comes in handy. So what I'm gonna do is reach up here and press this button and keep sliding this out until right there where it locks. So when it locks, I'm gonna feed it all back in. After you pull out the extension and get it locked in place, now you can line up. Now remember, our cable is actually right here at the bottom of this 90 right now, but we've just added three more feet of cable to it by extending it out. So let's go ahead and get that going in. And we continuously turn as we go. Now, as you can see, we've gone through the sanitary T, through the 90, and even beyond it. So this is one thing that every homeowner should have. Imagine how many times you've had a stoppage in just a toilet, or maybe right below it, that you could have unclogged yourself. Now, another neat thing about this, you can actually take off the handle and attach a cordless drill. Now, this is something I don't think I would ever do because I wanna feel it turn, and really how fast this turns isn't gonna matter as to what you can grab or can't grab, or what you can get out or can't get out, but you've got teeth on here to line this thing back up right where you want it and put it right back together. If you ever do take this off to put a cordless drill on it, make sure you put your handle somewhere that you can find it. So once you get to where you're at, you can pull it back out. And I normally don't turn at this point because what I wanna do is if it has grabbed anything, if it has grabbed feminine products, a towel, somebody's underwear, whatever got thrown down the drain, you want it to grab it. So what I do is kind of get the cable locked in place 
slide the handle back down, that way that pin resets. So remember, once you extend it, you're gonna have to press that pin, slide the handle down to the other hole and lock it in there. And once that's done, pull it out. Remember how we started? With it all the way up inside there, you wanna do that again. Now if you're in somebody's house too, you wanna to make sure you've got a rag, a towel, something like this, so you're not dripping toilet water down on their carpet or their floor. Now for one other trick, and this is one that can come in handy. You've got a spring here on the end. If you go in slow, if you're trying to retrieve something, maybe you did lose dentures down there, or maybe you lost your readers. You can actually go in slow and you can feel. When you're on the other end of this, you can actually feel what's going on down here. You can feel it touch stuff, you can feel it hit blockages. If you're trying to retrieve something, take a screwdriver in here and extend your spring out a little bit. Maybe a pair of pliers, just open it up a little bit to give it more of a hook to try to grab something. Then when you're all said and done, remember you're setting this on a towel. Pull it up. Lock it in position. Pick up your towel or rag, put it here and carry this outside. If you have anything on your head that you did retrieve or pull out, you may wanna take pictures of it so you can show the customer. This is a great tool for every homeowner to have, but also if you're a plumber or you own a plumbing company, you should have one of these on every truck. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe, ring the bell, and share this with a homeowner that maybe stops up a toilet a little too often. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.